you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Gloria and I make makeup videos, DIYs, and cooking videos. I just recently started um, a Facebook page for my followers because I know a lot of you don't have Instagram. And I did post on there um, that I was looking for inspiration and if you had a favorite eyeshadow palette that you would like me to use or any looks um, to leave it down below. So I did have somebody request a Rasta eyeshadow. So this is what we did today. I hope you like it. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how I came up with this look, then keep on watching. For those of you that want to know my Facebook link, I'll go ahead and put it down below in the description box along with all the products that I use for this video. For my next video, I did get a request to use the Urban Decay Naked um, Smoky Palette. So that is um, what I will be doing next. So if you're interested in that, then uh, stay tuned for my next video. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna start by priming our eyes with the Tarte. Um, concealer in light neutral. Whenever you're going to do bright colors, um, make sure that you do not skip this step or make sure that you have a colored base. Um, I know that some companies like NYX has like a colored bases um, that you can use that will also help the colors um, be brighter. Uh, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and this is going to help us create a crisp line. For me this is a little difficult because um, this eye tends to droop a little lower than this eye um, and it, this one seems to be more hooded as well. I'm just taking some of the tackiness off um, so I'm not tugging at my skin too much when I take it off. So pretty much all I'm doing is I'm making a line like from the bottom of like my eye like the close to the water line and taking it to the end of the tail of my brow you can also guide it with like your temple but whatever you do just try to make sure that they are symmetrical or as much as you can think this is symmetrical fingers crossed we'll find out so today we're going to be using the James Charles palette to create this look um, when Angie requested this look on my Facebook I did um, remember that I had just purchased this and um, it just so happened to have all the colors that I need for this Rasta look um, so hopefully it comes out nice and it's not a disaster Fingers crossed. For my transition color, um, maybe we can use this yellow right here. Let's see how that looks. So you can you can't really tell uh, because of the concealer. But once we put the colors on, um, it'll help them blend and make the other colors um, stand out a little more. I'm really hoping this tape is not lower because that happens to me all the time. And then I have to fix it with a wipe. Just because I don't know why this one seems to be a lot lower. Now that we have our yellow base down, uh, we're going to go ahead and start adding our Rasta colors. So we have two greens here, a light green and a dark green. I think I'm going to go with the dark green. going to apply this to um, the first part of my lid because we're going to add the three colors. Um, so we'll just apply it here and then once we get our makeup on I'll apply it at the bottom as well. Ok 
Hey guys, we're going to switch to the next color, uh, which is also the yellow, but we're going to do this brighter yellow color. For this one, I think I'm going to add a little bit more concealer um, to the middle um, because I want it to be a little brighter. I really hope that this eye look comes out good because I have to go grocery shopping after this. Um, my nephew's here um, for a few days and um, tonight we're going to do like a family fun night. Uh, we're going to watch movies and eat snacks and stuff and um, I don't want to look like a clown going to the grocery store. So fingers crossed that this eye look comes out good. Sorry if you can hear all kinds of noise. My bathroom is right here. And um, the kids are getting ready. If there's other makeup looks you guys want to see, um, just let me know. Either put it in the description box or leave me a comment or something on my Facebook or my Instagram. And I can try to um, either recreate the look or try to do a look with a palette that you like. I'm trying to find inspiration or I like to create more videos. I'm so used to just doing my regular um, style of makeup. So I'm kind of trying to venture out and try new things. Um, I know that uh, all the bright stuff is in right now, which is one of the reasons why I bought the James Charles palette and the color pop pigments. Um, so leave me a comment or something. Let me know what you want to see. Or if you want to see more recipe videos, um, stuff like that, or trying products. I don't know. Something. I want to know what you guys want to see. Just packing on this yellow because it's kind of sheer. So we want it nice and bright. So far it doesn't look too bad. I don't think so anyways. Um, so we're going to move on to the red right here. And let's see how this goes. I'm not going to worry too much about the fallout since I don't have foundation. I can always just brush it off. Use a wipey. Angie, if this makeup comes out cute, I'm gonna do this to you when you come over. When we have our birria and our drinks, um, we're planning a little girls' night, so um, stay tuned for that when that happens. Hopefully soon. I also did get a request to do an eye look with uh, using the Naked um, Smoky Palette from Urban Decay. Um, so I'm going to do that video next um, and see what you guys think. But yeah, I just want to play with makeup, have some fun, put out some more video for you guys. Especially right now that it's summer and I'm not going to school right now. I do go to work, but I'm not going to school right now um, but we'll be going back soon once summer is over um, and I really need to manage my time so that I can get more videos because I enjoy making them it's fun um, I like making you guys laugh with my other videos my snack crate ones those I have a lot of fun with I like doing videos with other people I feel like it kind of gets me out of my element I'm just going back in with the yellow transition color we used earlier it kind of takes me out of my element. I'm a very shy person, so um, doing this is very, like, scary for me. Um, I'm a Virgo. We like to just be in our own element at home. Um, our alone time um, is valuable, so 
Um, yeah, so this is definitely new for me, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I feel like each video I'm a little bit less awkward or um, do like nervous habits. Um, so I'm really hoping you guys are enjoying my videos. Um, I'm surprised that I already have as many subscribers as I do because I didn't expect to get more than 10. So thank you everyone. I really appreciate you guys watching. So I'm going to make this red a little bit brighter because I feel like it needs to be very bright. I really hope that my tape is even because it's going to suck when we take it off and one is lower than the other which I already feel like this one is higher. We'll find out at the end. Just kind of connecting them at the top. on my eyeliner I'll be right back fingers crossed that my eye <laughs> shadow is even um, it's gonna suck if it doesn't but we'll find out okay there's one I'm almost thinking maybe I shouldn't have gone that far with the red maybe I should have just kept it like this what do you guys think too far with the red Not too bad. It's pretty even. I just need to fix this eyeliner to match this one. Alright guys, so I evened out my eyeliner as best as I could, which with hooded eyes it doesn't really matter because once you put on eyelashes, because we have extra skin, the ones of us that have hooded eyes, um, your eyeliner is going to be wonky anyways and you're going to have to go back and fix it. So even if you get it as straight as you can, like right now, once you put on eyelashes, it's like it catches that extra skin and messes it all up. By the way, don't buy these wipes. They're from CVS and they suck. And it's the only ones I have right now. So this is what I'm going to have to use to clean up my mess. If you guys recreate any of the looks that I do, I would love to see them. Um, post a picture down below or... If you're too shy, just send them to me um, through Messenger or my DMs on Instagram. Um, it's fun to see when people recreate stuff because our eye shapes are so different that no matter what I do, it'll look different on you. Um, but it's just fun to play with makeup because you can't go wrong with makeup. Um, there's no ru real rules to makeup. Um, there are steps that will guide you, but there isn't really rules. It's what you like. You do. Your creative mind wants to put together something, then do it. Who cares if somebody else doesn't like it? I'm sure someone's not going to like this eyeshadow look I'm doing right now. But it's just fun. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned up my under eye. We're going to move on to foundation. And as always, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color 2W2 uh, Rattan. I'm going to use this new primer that we got in the Boxy Charm Box. It works really good. I really like it. I think I like it because it's not thick and silicone-y. Sometimes the silicone ones make me break out. Let me know if you guys are interested in vlogs like have me vlogging stuff like everybody always tells me that I should be taking my camera everywhere and vlogging I'm just not comfortable yet like being out in public just holding my camera like talking to it because I don't know I'm just not used to it yet but if you guys want to see that and are interested in my daily life and what I do um events or whatever that I go to 
I can vlog it for you. If that's what you guys want to see. I just don't want to bore you guys with stuff. I'm not that interesting. I don't really do exciting stuff, but when we do do stuff, I wouldn't mind vlogging for you guys if that's what you guys want to see. I'm just going to blend out a little bit. As you can see, a little bit of the brush strokes. We're going to go back in with that Tarte concealer under the eyes. contour kit um, from Anastasia. This one is the light one. I'm just taking this color, Havana. And then I got this brush too, it's the Anastasia contouring brush. guys have any plans for the summer if you do comment down below I'm just curious maybe I'll get some ideas I'm an introvert I don't really do anything so it'd be cool to know what you guys are doing for summer just taking the yellow color on here called banana oh you know what the color that I used was Java not Havana for the bronzing. Um, this one is banana. Do you guys have any um, favorite sponges that you guys like to use? The Real Technique ones, Real Techniques ones are my favorite. Um, but they do soak up a lot of product. So if you guys have any favorite ones that you like to use, let me know. And then I'm going to go back in. I need to do something to lose weight. I am so not summer ready. I never am. I always say I want to lose weight and I do for a little bit and then I gain it all back. It's hard. I love food. Moving on to the powder. Okay, I'm going to use this Milani Translucent Banana Make It Last Powder. BoxyCharm box. So I'm going to use this small contouring brush by Luxie. And I'm going to take this shade. Oh, it's backstage. Angela, I'm really going to the grocery store like this. Know that I love you if I'm gonna go to the grocery store with crazy eye makeup. I'm gonna go with Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's my favorite one. This is my go to, I wear it all the time. Um, if you guys have a favorite blush, let me know down below. I'll be happy to try it out because um, this is my ride or die one. So. I don't tend to switch. I use other ones sometimes, but I always end up going back to this one. 
I like it because it's shimmery and it's not too, too pink. It's almost like a mixture of a pink and orange, like a coral color. And it's really nice. I guess we can highlight with Becca's um, Champagne Pop. And I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild um, brush. You know, I didn't even contour my nose. I don't normally, um, but for today's video, we'll just go ahead and contour it. And I'm just going to use I'm just going to use that Tarte palette again um, with the same color that we had picked before. And I'm not picking a dark color because I don't want strong lines. I just want something soft and subtle. See what contouring your nose does. Now I have a little button nose. So I like to use the buffing brush from Real Techniques. And I just buff up in a circular motion. Okay, now we're gonna add highlight to the nose. I'm gonna use the same color pop. put it in the inner corner and the waterline. And I'm just going to mimic the same as the colors on top. Yellow doesn't pop as much if you do not use concealer. So because I didn't put any on the bottom, it's not as bright. It kind of looks see-through, but oh well. Alright guys, sorry it was getting kind of late and I needed to kind of speed it up. So I went ahead and popped on some eyelashes. I added um, eyeliner to my waterline, some dark ones, because I was looking at it without it. And I felt like it looked kind of weird because the green was kind of bringing my eyes together kind of cross-eyed. I don't know. That was just me. So I went ahead and added that. I popped on some lip color. I'll leave everything I use in the description box down below if you're interested. Um, excuse my hair. I don't feel like doing my hair today. So I'm going to go with my Rasta eyeshadow to the grocery store. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll like it. Somebody will see it will become a subscriber so if you are one of those by chance welcome to the fam um, but as of now I really hope you enjoyed this video I would love to create new looks um, and yeah tell me what you think you like it you don't like it um, let me give you a close-up I don't know Ange I hope you like it let me know. You better subscribe to my YouTube channel like you said you would. Love you, girl. Thanks for watching. Bye.